Hey guys, this is Aaron from Impact KC Worship. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the lead guitar parts for the song Lion and the Lamb by Bethel Music. Let me break this down for you guys. Again, we're in the intro, we're in the key of B, and we're gonna be at 90 BPM. So for that intro, I'm playing split octaves, basically with my first finger and my fourth finger. We're gonna start out on the ninth fret of the fourth string with my first finger, and the twelfth fret with my fourth finger on the second string. I'm gonna move up from there. It'll sound like this, really slow. So that's the first part. Now when you've mastered that, it goes into the little lead line almost with a sweeping pattern with your pick. It'll sound like this. Again, even slower. So together, you're gonna to play the whole thing twice. It'll sound like this. Again. And again, that's the intro and all of the other interludes following that. Now here's how it sounds at the full tempo. So let's move on to verse two. Uh, on your first verse and your first chorus, there's hardly any distinct lead guitar parts. I may do some swelling or something like that in the first chorus just to fill out some space, but other than that, there's no distinct parts for you. Um, after your first chorus, you'll go back to that interlude that we learned for the intro, and then we move on to verse two. So let's go ahead and start there. So again, we're starting with our first finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string, and we're gonna be going back and forth between the 11th fret and the 9th fret. It'll sound like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing a little bit of palm muting, and I'm basically plucking 16th notes. So the first few bars, you're gonna be doing one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Those last few bars, you're gonna be going 
to your basically a B major shape. You're going to be going back and forth between your three notes. Just a major triad there. It'll sound like this. Now when you leave verse 2, you're going to be going to a standard rhythm pattern, whatever your voicings for your chord shapes would be. Um, again, there's not many distinct parts from there on out. Later on, there's a breakdown where you will basically just repeat your interlude or your intro lead line leading into that bridge part. But other than that, that's pretty much all the parts that you need to know. For more videos like this, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel.